And welcome back to another episode of Craft Exile. <laughs> welcome back, guys. As you can see, we have a different skin than normal. And that's because of our last video, A Mine Colony Story. If you haven't seen it, you should go check it out. It was very fun to make and pretty fun to watch. Um, but in that video, we hyped up going to the Gaia Dimension. And that's what we're going to be doing in this episode. Um, I just took the Crystallized Lapis Lazuli and the Crystallized Redstone out of the furnaces. We smelted those up and that's going to allow us to complete this quest. I'm not going to forget to do all the quests this time like I did in the last Dimension video. So we will actually be able to do them. Now, I think it's either like this or it's the inverse of this. Let's find out. No, oh, that's proper. So I think we needed 10 of these for the next quest. Yes, that is correct. And then let's see here. We needed the glint and gold. So the guy dimension is the last The last dimension in this Crab to Exile series. Um, and the next quest said something interesting here. Let's let's grab that experience and check this out. It says, by putting the keystone blocks in an orientation not unlike a nether portal and activating it with the gold and diamond, you've activated a portal. Or at least you think it's a portal. Enter the guide dimension. Something tells you this will be the last time you see the overworld. So I don't really know what that means. But, sounds intense, so we're just going to jump in and not worry about it. <laughs> but we will take these along just in case uh, we can use them to make like a second portal or something. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so where do we want to put this? I mean, I s guess like... Let's see, we put the dungeon one up there. We put the nether one over there. What other dimensions have we even gone to? Oh, the beds are over there. Ah, oh, they're mostly over there. So that's where we'll go. Actually, it'll fit in with the sand as well. So that'll look good. Let's head on over there. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I guess right here. Since everything else is kind of taken already. Do do. I need one more up. And then I need sand blocks, I guess. Right there. And then like that. Yeah, that'll do. Alright. And there we go. We are about to head into the Gaia Dimension. Oh. Alright. Alright, alright. So first things first. Let's grab that. Use that. Make sure we have activated this. Okay, cool. So we do have the quests in this dimension. First thing we're going to do is grab this waypoint so that we have a rare Howlite Wolf. Huh! That's kind of cute. So that we have um, the uh, waypoint right next to our portal. Okay, waypoint acquired. Let's check this chest just in case. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. And what do we got down here? What is the guy dimension all about? Let's see if we can jump into some water here. Nice. Very good, very good. All right, so the first quest I think was this stuff, right? Heavy soil? No, it, it was glitter grass. Which we need purifying. Wait, corrupted grass? Do we need like silk touch in order to get this? I don't understand. All right, so we actually just went back to the overworld. It is possible I did just confirm that. Uh, but, I think I needed something with Silk Touch, just because I can't 
get glitter grass by breaking it unless I have silk touch. So I don't know what that's about. Let's just make sure this does work. Yeah, it does work. So either the quest is a silly quest or you're supposed to have silk touch when you come to the guy dimension in this mod pack. I don't know, but this is going to work. So let's grab 16 of this and then we can continue on with the next. Actually, I think after that we'll have two options for quests because it branches off in two directions. How many we're at? 15, 14. Um, okay. There we go. Let's grab that. And just like that, give another large experience book. Okay, so yet another crafting table. I mean, you could just use your normal crafting table. But no, we can't because we actually need this one. What is this? What are tiles? Tiles. Okay, how do I get this? Burnt log. Oh, okay. So we just break a piece of wood. And that should give us this. And then we go like that. And there we go. Another quest completed. And then, okay, I think what we're gonna do real quick, we're gonna get that out of there. We now can get that out of there. Uh, we probably won't need the silk touch for a little while. All right, perfect. So we got that. What's next? What is next? Stick it to ya. Uh, what does that say? Stick it to ya? Okay, it literally says stick it to ya. Primary resource of the Gaia. Use sticks to craft various weapons, tools, and blocks. And then we got this one, which is a crude storage chest, which I assume is just, yep, normal chest recipe with Gaia blocks. And these things are so freaking cute. Level 59, weak Howlite Wolf. I wonder how weak they actually are. All right, so we got to get wood. That's wood. We got minerals here. Prustite. Various beautiful rocks and minerals, many of which can be used to craft powerful armor and weapons. The basal resources. I wonder if that's a typo and it was supposed to be basic. Or maybe I'm an idiot and that means something I don't know what it means. Who knows? Plenty of options there. All right. We're going to go ahead and grab a whole bunch of wood. Looks like we get saplings from these trees as well. So that's kind of cool. I wonder if we could plant them in the overworld. Even though I don't think we're supposed to be able to get back. But we can. And it's a good thing too. Because we wouldn't have even been able to start the quest if we were not able to. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's just one wood gives sticks. That's cool as opposed to stacking two wood. It does look like they got that quest, so let's go ahead and put this here. We get this quest. And let's plop that down. Okay, so it's just a normal quest. I mean, chest. <laughs> more experience, more experience. And then we've got orange and blue. Uh, we've got It seems like all of these are types of ores. And we've just leveled up yet again. And I know what I'm doing down here, so I can just come down here real quick and grab this. I'm actually going to be taking this tree all the way to over here, where we get physical damage and critical hit chance as my next objective there. And I am also going up the storm line here. And then for the stat points, I think I wanted more critical hit chance. So that's going in there. All right. So in order to get these gems, I assume we have to go down underground. Let's see here. Where do we want to go? Um, we got another biome over here. Oh, what is this? A weak, shallow Aranthus. Let's head in here. First, let's kill this. Let's kill this thing. It's got a lot of a lot of health. Doesn't attack. So 
Seems like I get a little bit of lag every time I hit this thing. Alright, what do we get? Small tentacle. Eat that. Cool, that's a food source in this dimension, even though we don't really need it. Ooh. We've got a, some sort of dinosaur over here. A weak ancient Lagrac. 93,000 health? A weak one? What? Are they aggressive? Doesn't seem like they're aggressive. Should we attack this thing? Look at that, it's got... It's got four arms and two legs. Oh, he just gave me the look. <laughs> Yeah, don't be doing that. Um, all right. So he's stuck. So this is perfect. We'll just batter away at this guy and see what he drops. Because I have a feeling this would be a long battle for a weak monster. Considering we are just now halfway done his health. My sword's going to break by the time I finish him. All right, that's nice. We got weak slippers or cloth slippers, slippers that are common rank. Okay, underground. We need to go underground for the next quests. Also, what monster is the one we're, we're supposed to be keeping an eye out for? Growth sappers, as that is the first monster that we need to kill in that monster quest line. And speaking of monster quest line, that is a substantial amount of monsters. Holy cow, or mobs. I'm sure some of them are non-aggressive, but still, that is a lot. Oh, is this a cave? Is this going down? Ooh, looks like we got an ore right here. A couple ores. Ooh! Wow. Got, like, everything we need here. What is raw jet? Let's get this first. Oops. Got some guys down, too. Alright, what does that do? Do we put that in there and get something? No. I don't know what that... Oh my gosh, that scared me. Okay, so this is pyrite. So we got two pyrite there. This is hematite. Okay, got some hematite. This, I assume, is the... Oh, no, this is cinnabar. And it's really dark in here. Um, that doesn't need to be in there. Got some torches here. Okay, more cinnabar. Interesting. Let's see. We'll grab all of this. And then we'll take a look at what we can do with these and if we got the ones we needed for the quest. Also, we'll grab this copal over here because I don't know what this does either. All right. So let's go into the quest line. We didn't get any of those. We didn't get any of those. We did not get that. And we needed ingots for that of some variety. So we basically just did nothing. Cool. Love it. But if we go into our inventory here, we see what these do. So we can make pyrite torches with pyrite. That's cool. So pyrite is coal, basically. Yeah, it's a fuel. Interesting. Cinnabar is... Just a decorative block, and maybe we use it. So restructuring, we can turn it into prusite, which we need. Huh. How do we make a restructuring thing? Let's find out. We need reinforced bricks and a Gaia stone furnace. So this is just thick glitter blocks and a form of stone brick. So thick glitter box, gummy glitter blocks, sweet. Okay, so we have not what we need. <laughs> oh, pebbles, what do pebbles do? Oh, that's probably just gravel. Interesting. So there's like a Gaia equivalent for everything in the overworld, it seems like. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Got another big boy over here. Let's see what this guy has. It's probably not weak. So he probably has a lot more. 
Oh my gosh, 140,000. Are they aggressive? So they are not actually aggressive. Volcanic rock? What is this stuff? Is this lava? I assume this stuff hurts me. Yes, it does. A lot. So that's like lava. You know what? Alright, first things first. Let's get ourselves off the fire. Nice. Second thing. Let's grab a bucket of this. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I just cheesed the bucket quest. By using it with this, it turned it into a Skanex bucket. And he has so much health. We're just gonna let that let that do its stuff while we check this quest off. 350,000, nice. And that quest takes me nowhere, so that actually doesn't help me that much. But, excuse me? I need you to stay in that. Oh, that hurt. He just did some damage to me. Oh, shoot. He has escaped. Oh, shoot. Oh, he's slow, though. He, like, gave up real easy. That's nice. Or maybe he's just, like... I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe he likes it over there. Okay, so he actually doesn't do that much damage. But neither do I. So, there's that. Alright, let's see. We're at 514,000 experience right now. Let's kill this guy who has 140,000. And let's see how much experience we get. Seems like it's pretty easy to kill these guys in water. Yeah, you're right. You're a noob. You can't do like anything to me except he's getting some hits on me. Oh, there's another one of his kind over there. Almost there. Almost there. Huh? Huh? I missed like four attacks in a row. Nice. All right, we got fifteen thousand. That's not very much at all. Fifteen thousand. Not very much at all. All right. Well, let's get rid of these bottles because that's just gonna clog up my inventory. And we'll grab some mineral water. And let's go see if we can find those ores. Because we kind of need them in order to do anything. What's down here? Okay, looks like this is more... Frail glitter. What is this? What just happened? It like broke into nothing. Okay. A little cave here. I think we probably have to go pretty deep in order to get the other ones. So that's what we're going to have to do here. I think we might even be able to. Alright, looks like we found a new one. Sugalite. Let's grab that. More of it over here. Wow, there's a lot. Quest complete minerals too? Which one was that? I don't even remember getting this one. What? No. How was I able to access that one when I didn't... Oh, was that one of them? Huh. That's interesting. Minerals 3. Okay. This is Minerals 1. So we found Minerals 2 before we found Minerals 1. Interesting. Let's see what's over this way. I hear a silverfish or whatever equivalent is in this dimension. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. A lot of this frail glitter stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. A weak cavern tick? That's disgusting. Okay, I swear. Come on. I'm about to go down there and just fight him to... Alright, get over here. Yeah, that's right, hit me. See if I care. Um, what is the best way to break this stuff? Is it the pick? Because it's kind of annoying. Maybe a sword? No, it's, well, it's about even for everything it looks like. Okay. A rare archaic warrior. Coarse rock. 
So this guy is 18,000. That's that's not much. We can do this. Oh, he doesn't have a bow? Oh, I thought he'd have a bow since he sounded like a skeleton. Easy peasy, we can cheese it. I'm all about cheesing things. Get wrecked, noob. Alright, let's grab this. Maybe if we smelt that, it becomes like... Something. Pebbles, more of that. Cinnabar, more sugalite. Um, a lot more sugalite, pyrite. Okay, we. Oh, there's a new war, and I think no, we already got that one. Where's another red one? I feel like the pyrocyte or whatever. All right, he's coming for me now. Oh, he's no, he's not. Noob. <laughs> Alright, what is this? Oh, another freaking tick. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> okay. Cinnabar. I wonder if we have to use restructuring in order to um, get the pyro, whatever. Or not the pyro. What is it called? What is it called? The Prusite. Yeah, it looks like we do. Huh. Great. Great, great, great. Can I get out of here? Thank you. All right, so what does this do? Shiny bone. We can make an old bow. Okay. All right, we gotta make, we gotta make this. Cobblestone to make the stone furnace. We did not bring our workbench, so we're just going to make a new one here. Plop that right on the open here. Just do this. Do, 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 do. All right. Gaia stone furnace acquired. So we need the stone bricks, which we can make. <sighs> Always complications. Gummy glitter. All right, where do we get the freaking muck balls? A muckling? Any biome, any light level. <sighs> Gosh, that's annoying. Um, it's over here. I mean, I guess we'll just grab this. I don't know what any of these ores do, but it can't hurt. Oh, what's this? New ore. Primal mass and precious rock. All right, that sounds valuable. Whoa, there's a lot of primal mass. It is not uncommon. Okay, so that's like. I mean, we'll get some of it. Oh, it's hard. It's not quick to mine. So what can we do with it? Primal mass. Nothing. Can do nothing with primal mass. Exciting. Precious rock. We should probably find out if we can do anything with this. Okay, so the precious rock is how we get the skein skeinix. And the Skanex only has one frickin' recipe. Nice. And we don't even need to get it because we can just get it from... I think we might actually have most of the minerals. How do we get this one? Uh, white opals is what we need. Where do we find white opals? I don't know. Where do we normally find opals? Opal is obviously a mineral because they have it under minerals. So I assume it would be down here. Hematite. Do we have hematite already? Yeah, we do. Well, copal. Copal and opal. Those sound very similar. Oops. 
What can we do with it? We can make copal bricks. And that's it. That's it. All right, we're going to head up to the surface and see if there's anything along the way that we can grab. But I think we pretty much got what we came down to get. So on my way up to the surface, we found this, a muckling, which is where we need what we need for the restructuring block. Well, we need whatever this guy drops. Okay, let's see if he drops as many as we need. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, a veteran. A buckling of the mountain. <laughs> muckling of the mountains. Oh, he didn't drop anything on that. Really? You telling me I killed that whole fatty and got one of these things? Unbelievable. 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 Well, at least we know what mucklings look like now. And if we find any, we will kill them. Back on the surface, we've been wandering around a bit. We came across Growth Sappers, which is our first kill quest. So, we're going to go ahead and get rid of them. We do have to kill 16 of these. Um, they drop geodes, and they do not attack, it seems like. So I don't know how they can possibly be sapping my growth. But that's cool with me. It is all cool with me. All right, so that's one quarter of the way done that quest. On the way up out of the dungeon, we did come across something called Moonstone. Don't know what that does, but it's there. We got it. Um, and there's a tower over here. So we're going to go over there and find out what's up with that. Maybe we'll get some sick loot. Because I know sir, there is some super powerful, um, let's actually look this up, super powerful weapons and armors in this dimension. Like this one, this sword right here, the Corrupt Warrior Sword. Has 25 attack damage. The Gaia Champion Sword. 20 attack damage. Uh, what else? What do we got? So is 25 the best? Or what? It might be. Huh. That's interesting. I thought there was something better than that. Let's see. Actually, I thought this one was just super good. Well, this one actually has double, or more than double, triple the attack speed of the warrior sword. So this one is the best, it appears. Uh, also not craftable. So I assume towers like this are how we will get it. Before we go in that tower, though, we're going to go and knock these growth sappers out. Also got a weak nomadic Legrock, which is just a blue version of the other ones it looks like. It has less health though. By a lot. Yeah, you're noobs. You're freaking noobs. Alright. Three more sappers down. I mean he looks like a toughie. You look tough, man. So tough. All right, the yellow tower. Let's do it. Unless we see a growth sapper along the way, and then we will procrastinate. But it does not look like there is. Okay, here's the entrance. Oh whoa! <laughs> I didn't see him. <laughs> shall lurker. A weak shall lurker. You need to die, because you're freaky. Oh my gosh, I just realized something. These are bricks. You know what that means? Let me tell you what that means. That means that the restructuring block, which is right here. <laughs> I think, I think these are the bricks, right? Hopefully, but we still need this stuff, so I guess it doesn't matter that much. We're going up. Is there anything up here? Like a chest or something, you know? Please? Please? More stairs, okay. Oh, hey there, buddy. Oh, 
All right, let's grab, get rid of that. And we have a chest, we get a white opal, which is something we need, more pyrite. A sweet geode slice. Yo, duck, let me get a, let me get a slice of that geode. <laughs> okay, let's eat it. Maybe we'll get like, no, we didn't get anything from that. However, we did get one of our white opals, which is something we need. Also failed that jump. Wait, I can just, <laughs> very clever. One tower explored. I assume, I assume you can get some sort of weapon from those chests and not just minerals. But let's continue our exploration of the guy dimension. Tall turtles. <laughs> so we were just walking around looking for growth sappers and we found these turtles that are like really tall. I'm actually not going to kill these until I actually have to because they're cute. <laughs> Look at that little thing. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Still no more growth snapper sappers, but we did find a purple tower. So we're going to head on into this and explore a little bit. Oh, look. I can find pretty much everything I need over there. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. All right, I need creepy dark people. The sh what are they called? The What what was it? It was like a Shokularite or something? No, just an archaic warrior. Rude! Oh my gosh. Dude probably got more hits on me than I got on him. Alright, well, that one was easy. Let's see what we get! Pyrite. Oh, another white opal. A sour geode slice and some arrows. Alright. So you can get equipment. Uh, it's not quite a sword. Oh, I got some health from that one. But still nice to get something that is not just a mineral. Cool. Let's go into the pink dimension. I mean, <laughs> pink biome. Do 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 do. All right. This purple agate swamp. Gummy glitter blocks. Yep, these are what we want. Wow, they mine quick. Give me that. Give me that, give me that, give me that. And then these are also what we need. Simply amazing. And I don't even think we need to kill the purple guys now. I mean, we might end up doing it, but for now, let's just... Let's make this restructuring thing. So we got this. And then to make the restructuring block, we needed these. And then from that, do I have my... Huh, these are copal bricks and we need... It's pink. Do we need... Crystallized and cracked? Are those those bricks over there? Let's check one more time. Because I'm silly. Um, just Gaia stone. So we just have to smelt some stone, looks like. So let's grab our furnace out here, put the pyrite in there, and cook. Wait, no. Wait. Is this not fuel? How do we fuel this thing? Ah, uh, of course. Another issue that we have found. Um, all right, so unfortunately, we do have to go back to the overworld in order to, whoa, in order to use some vanilla resources. Uh, it turns out the furnace from the guy dimension is operated using vanilla coal, and the restructurer, which we did end up making, uses gold and something called a pink essence or something that we get from smelting down stone, Gaia stone, <laughs> with coal. Now we were able to get the bricks for the restructurer using some sticks we had to smelt those down, but we ran out and now we are stuck. So we need gold, which we have plenty of, and then we need um, 
coal. So let's grab all of our coal. And let's try this out. I will put you down here for now. We're going to put the gold right there. Oh yeah, and then we need to smelt down uh, some of this. No, actually, it's the stone. If we smelt down the stone, I believe. Yeah, that should give us the pink essence, but we need to get smelt this down in order to get the pink stone. And it's just, oh boy. Complications, complications. Well, once we do that... Let's see. Yep, there's the pink essence. Um... Put that there. Now we put this right here. We put this right here. And let's see what we get from that. Hopefully, it's what we need. Wait. Does one of these not give me enough to smell? Oh my gosh. Well, we got a Prusite. <laughs> 15 more to go, and it turns out we need two of each. In order to get one. So that's great. Uh, that means we don't have enough of that. Huh! How about that? How about that? So we're taking the coal. We are taking gold. With us. I don't know why I just turned that on. Just whatever. Whatever, man. Whatever. Alright, we're going to go ahead and smelt these down. We're going to turn all this into Prusite, even though we won't have enough. And then we're going back into the guy dimension. Okay, we've just mined out a little area down here where we can set down some roots in the guy dimension. We made, we brought a furnace where we can smelt um, some guy of cobblestone. And we can turn that into stone and smelt that. We, of course, were one shy of the Prusite. We had everything, we, Prusite, sorry. Uh, we had everything we need except for to Gaia Stone to make Pink Essence. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that into that. And then we will be ready to finish this quest, which has taken way too long and makes no sense that it was before this quest over here. Not sure about the design of this quest line. But here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. We now have 16. We also have 16 of these black residue. Quest complete. Minerals. Let's grab it. Boom. And let's see what we can make with Prustite. Um, our agite crafting table right there. Is it just like this? Is this how we make? Yes, it is. So six armor when it's on our body. This currently gives seven plus two toughness. So not nearly as good as what we have on. And we are not going to equip, equip it. However, we will make these two pieces to finish another quest. Boom. And that only gives four armor. That's really bad. 400,000 experience acquired. Boom. We're actually almost able to level up to level 60, which is interesting because... Um, let's see. Why is that interesting? Oh, yes. The Sugalite is one of the basic gems and can be crafted into level 60 weapons and armor. But I think I am going to call this episode here. I think I'm going to make the Gaia Dimension a two-part episode. So next episode is going to be the rest of this dimension. This series is going to be coming to a close soonish, And I'm going to start working on some other projects. But for now, hope you enjoyed. And if you did, drop a like and subscribe. There's going to be a lot more content coming in the future. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.